Mm. I bet it did look pretty nice for this shot, but my dogs had other ideas, so we're just gonna go with it. Self-trust was never really something that I had thought much about. It wasn't until I heard someone else talk about it and they talked about it in a way that really actually related to my situation and what I was going through and that was when I realised that I think I had a bit of a self-trust issue. It made sense that that was the reason that I'd felt so down about myself, I wasn't achieving the goals that I wanted to achieve and I was really really struggling to build any kind of habits that I wanted in my life. Because here's the thing, I believed that I could achieve those things, I believe I had the potential to achieve those things but I just didn't actually believe that I would do the things that I said I was going to do. And that's the first thing that I want to talk about. I'm willing to bet that the reason you don't trust yourself is because there's been a lot of times in the past that you've said you were going to do something. You've said you were going to build a habit. You've said you were going to achieve a goal. You've said that you were even just going to do something simple. You've said that you were going to empty the dishwasher. And you haven't. You haven't followed through on the thing that you told yourself you were going to do. And doing this a couple of times isn't going to make a massive difference to your life. But if you're doing this all the time, especially if you're doing this every day, you have built this identity and this image of yourself as someone who doesn't follow through and doesn't do the things that they say they're going to do. So now you're automatically going to assume that anything you do want to do, anything you do make plans to do, you're not going to do it anyway because that's just you, that's just who you are, that's just what you're like and there's nothing you can do about it. You think that even if you did try to do the thing you said you were going to do, you would find it incredibly difficult to actually follow through with it. But you need to understand that this is your identity that you have built for yourself. This is you that's decided this. So how do you actually change that belief about yourself? How do you start trusting yourself? Well, if you don't trust yourself because you haven't done the things you said you were going to do, then all you really need to do is the opposite of that. Do the things that you say you're going to do. Prove to yourself that you can actually stick to your word. And I know if it was that easy, you would have done it a while ago. And I completely understand that. Which is why you want to make it as easy for yourself as you can to just build this trust back up. And an easy way that I've learned to do this is through setting yourself a challenge to follow through with one commitment every single day. When you wake up in the morning or even the night before if you want to, make this one commitment to yourself of one thing you're going to do that day, just one. If you have a lot of other things you have to get done that day, that's fine, but if you don't get any of them done, those aren't included. Like, they, they, they don't count. All you're focusing on to build this trust is that one thing. And make sure you follow through with that thing. Make sure that no matter what, you do that one thing. And I noticed even within the first few days of doing this, I started feeling so much better about myself. I started even just doing more, just doing more things that I knew I had to get done because I was beginning to trust myself again. I was beginning to believe that I could actually follow through and do the things that I said I was going to do. If you had 10 things to do today and the only one you actually got done was this one commitment, you've still won. You've still followed through with that one thing that you promised yourself you were definitely going to get done. And this is why it's important to choose one thing. If you choose too many things, you're making it too difficult on yourself. Just focus on one thing. So how do you actually choose your commitment for each day? Well, the most important thing is that you make it easy. If you make it something that's really, really challenging, really difficult, maybe takes up a lot of time, you're less likely to get it done that day. Especially if unexpected things happen or you suddenly get really busy that day with other things. If this one commitment is something that takes up a lot of time, then that's probably going to be the first thing that you're just going to drop. Another really important part to this is making sure it's something that you have control over. If your one commitment is to hit a thousand followers on Instagram that day, you don't have control over that. You can't make sure that that does happen but you can control whether or not you post to Instagram that day. That's a really weird example and probably not something you struggle with when it comes to self-trust, but it illustrates the point. <laughs> so one thing that I found really works for me is linking these 
commitments into my other goals. I've set commitments for myself to plan two videos that day or to film at least one video. And that all comes back to my goal of hitting 500 subscribers on YouTube. But I'm gonna be honest here, I've also set really simple commitments for myself that honestly, if anyone saw them, they might think I was a bit weird. One day I set myself the commitment to shower before 12 p.m. And the reason for that is because a lot of the time, if I'm not working until later in the afternoon, I will get up and I will head straight to my laptop and I will start working. This is obviously my own YouTube work, so I can sit in my pajamas and do this, unless I'm filming. I can wear whatever I want while I'm doing it and I would be productive, I would get things done, but it would be 12 p.m. and I was still not dressed. So one day my commitment was just that I would shower before 12 p.m. and even that is a commitment. Like that is still something that maybe you don't always do it. So that's your commitment for that day. What I wouldn't do is give yourself a commitment that you know for a fact you're gonna do. Like I wouldn't set a commitment to brush your teeth in the morning if you always brush your teeth in the morning. That's not really giving you something to think about and something to really build trust with. You already do that. You already know you're gonna do that. But at the same time, it doesn't have to be some sort of massive thing. You could make a commitment to go for a 10 minute walk. It doesn't have to be a commitment to go for a 10K run. And by kind of working in with your goals, it also makes sure that you're not then feeling like this is another thing that you have to do. Because a lot of the time, little challenges and things, if you're already working on something, it can just feel like another thing that you have to do and you end up dropping it because you've got too much on your plate. So if you work it in with the goals you already have, or even just daily life things that you already have to do, it really helps to make sure that you are gonna stick with it and you are gonna start building that trust because honestly, this challenge, it really does have a big impact on just the way you think and the way you feel about yourself more than anything else. It's not a massive goal, it's not a massive thing that you have to do that's gonna take over your life. It's just one tiny little commitment every day that will change the way you think and view yourself. And this process is gonna really help to lay the foundation for everything else. Every day you're gonna be proving to yourself that you are the type of person who sticks to what they say they're gonna do and who follows through on their word. And that belief about yourself can change your perspective on everything. If you do really struggle with self-doubt, then this one exercise is just gonna subtly show you every single day that you are capable of following through on what you say you're gonna do. You are capable of doing things that maybe in the back of your mind you think you can't do. And the only reason you think that is because in the past you haven't. And honestly, one of the main reasons I think that this is so valuable is because building habits and achieving goals is gonna become so much easier for you when you have this underlying belief in yourself and you trust yourself to follow through and actually make things happen for yourself. You can think you have all the potential in the world, but if you don't think you're actually gonna do anything about it, it doesn't matter. Of course, you have to believe in yourself, but that also comes back to self-trust. If you've proved many times before that you will do something and you will make something happen, you're gonna know in the future that you will do it. Whatever you prove to yourself to be true will be true. And whatever you believe about yourself to be true will be true. Nothing's gonna magically change it for you. You have to do it yourself. You have to change that belief yourself. So I hope this video was helpful for you and kind of showed you a different perspective on what really might be what's holding you back from really everything else. If you are gonna try out this commitment challenge, then let me know in the comments if you are gonna do it and how you get on with it and what your first commitment to yourself is gonna be. If you do want to find out more about this topic, I am gonna link the PGSD membership as well as some of Sam's podcast episodes about self-trust because they have been so, so helpful for me just to understand what self-trust really is and how I can improve it for myself and use it to accomplish more things. Remember, if you did enjoy this video, to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as well because it really does help my channel. And other than that, I will see you in the next video.